Good morning, muffins. It's Sheree. I'm feeling super salty this morning. <laughs> um, I don't know, I feel like I worked my butt off this week and I got on the scale this morning and I'm up 1.3, 1.2. Either way, it's way up. I don't like it. So I'm irritated and feeling a little defeated. Um, but I'm gonna go to the gym today, <laughs> even though it is not paying off for me. Um, I can't talk long because I gotta hurry up and finish coffee and breakfast. I'm going to take my husband's car to get the oil changed before I hit the gym. Um, I've got some errands to run after that. It's just, today just, <laughs> um, so yeah, so I'll show you breakfast when I finish it. I'm not feeling really talkative. I'll check in with you guys in a bit. You guys get the most flattering angle because I totally forgot that I had to be in my husband's car so I can't vlog in my car because I'm not in it. <laughs> so I'm about to eat two slices of gluten-free cinnamon raisin bread from Trader Joe's. Um, it's five points for two slices. Here's a little rant about gluten-free bread. I don't I get it that gluten-free bread is not bread so it's gonna taste different. I get it. But if the points are gonna be at higher or just as high as regular bread, I feel like it should be the same effing size. Gluten-free bread is so much smaller than regular sandwich bread or toast. It's just like an inch all the way around. You're losing an inch and losing all the deliciousness. It's like the worst ever. Oh, sorry guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip my attitude around because I'm grumpy as Maximus right now. Um, so I'm gonna tell you guys an unskilled victory from yesterday so I can feel better about my stitch, okay? Just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and get positive. Let's work it out. But the last time that I lost weight was for my wedding and um, I think I was about five pounds smaller than I am now. So I'm very close. <laughs> but I had, a, I had a box of my quote unquote skinny clothes that once I started not fitting into, I just stuck them all into a box because I was like mad at myself. So I was like, I'm getting these clothes. I'm not, you know, I don't want to throw them away, but I'm, but I'm putting these clothes in this box and it's like my secret skinny box. And uh, so yesterday I was down in our basement looking for uh, some skirts and I stumbled upon my skinny box. And so I opened it up and I was looking through it and a lot of the clothes like aren't my style anymore. Um, not that I have a style, like let's, <laughs> let's roll that in. Um, but, uh, so a lot of them I'm donating, but there are quite a few like shorts and skirts that I was like, oh, I wonder if I could fit into these. <laughs> and I can, they totally fit. I have like six pairs of shorts. I got some shirts. I got some skirts. Like, like, whoa, I'm back in my skinny box. And I mean, it's still not skinny. Like, let's not kill ourselves. But it's skinny for me. It's the skinniest I've been as an adult, my skinny box. So I really shouldn't be so hard on myself about the gym. I, I'm guessing, I'm hoping that I'm gaining muscle. It's just really annoying because I feel like I have been gaining and losing the same five pounds for like a whole month. Like I'll have an awesome loss, you know, like a huge loss and it feels real good and like I'm so sparkly about it. But then I have, you know, like a moderate gain or a very minimal loss and so I've basically just been gaining and losing the same five pounds for an entire month. And so I was like, well, I'm gonna go to the gym because I need to like, maybe if I work out, that'll kick me through and I'll finally have like some, you know, weekly losses. But I've been to the gym two weeks in a row and I've had two weeks of d dismal loss and now gain and now I'm just pissed off. <laughs> so I, I mean, I know I should keep pushing. I know it's probably muscle. I know all of those things in my heart of hearts, but it just, just seeing the number on the scale just totally puts me in a bad like mind space. It's so frustrating and I, I just feel like your body shouldn't reward you when you're lethargic and just not eating as much. And I feel like when you start moving, your body should be like, oh yeah, you should definitely keep doing this. We like it. It's real great. Here, have some loss. No. So I'm going to quit whining about it. You know, I'm doing the best I can. My body, I guess, will catch up eventually. I just... You know, every part of me doesn't want to go to the gym today. Like, I'm just like, you know what? Like, let's just not go to the gym for a week and see if we have a loss. I just, but I'm going to go. I have my gym clothes on. I'm going to go right after I take my husband's car for an oil change. I'm just frustrated. So I'm going to sign off. I'm going to concentrate on my non-scale victory. 
and not let the number destroy my day. And I'm going to eat this gluten-free toast that's totally ripping me off. And I'll check in with you guys in a bit. <sighs> Alright guys, my morning did not get better. I uh, went to get the oil changed and I'm sitting in line waiting for them to open the doors and a lady pulls up around me and parks catty corner in front of me so she can go first. So then I was super mad. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna do this. I'm going home. I'm going to bed. I'm so irritated. But then I was like, no, I'm gonna go to the gym and I'm gonna beast mode it out. So if you're uh, ever in need of some motivation, just get really mad and then go work it out on yourself in the gym. So I'm shaking. <sighs> I pushed it really hard. I did 35 minutes on the row machine. I did five minutes on the stair stepper because that's all I could do. And uh, I did five of the minutes on the rowing machine just on abs. Like I did different moves to try and work my abs a little bit. So, suck it, bad day. I got my workout in. So I'm gonna eat an apple, I'm gonna chug some water, go finish my errands, and I'm going home. I'm gonna make my husband make me feel better. He's gonna take me to the farmer's market. He just doesn't know it yet. All right, so I packed a little lunch. Me and the husband are gonna go do some thrifting. So I've got my little lunch box here. Um, I've got four points worth of hummus, a boiled egg. So this is four points, two points. And then I've just got this container of veggies, um, snap peas, bell peppers, and tomatoes that I'm going to dip in the hummus. And then I've got this green smoothie. This is one banana, one scoop of greens, and one cup of unsweetened cashew milk. So that's one point. It's so hot. Why is it so hot? <sighs> um, since I'm having a rough day, my honey knows how to speak to my heart, and he's taking me to my favorite thrift store. Um, which isn't very close, so we don't get to go very often. But I'm so excited. I hope I found some treasures. Um, but this smoothie is good. I'm going to insert a picture of this greens powder. It's zero smart points. I think it's 35 calories for a very large scoop. Um, even hubby says it's good, so I'm drinking a smoothie. I did bring my lunch because uh, he ate before we left and I didn't have time, so I just don't want to be tempted to make any bad rash decisions today. So got my healthy lunch, got my smoothie. Um, basically, I'll fit this guru. Update, I just woke up from an epic nap. <laughs> um, I didn't end up eating the boiled egg and I only ate maybe half of the hummus. So I'm only counting the hummus as two points and then I didn't eat the egg so that's not two points. And then I came home and I had three slices of deli turkey and went to sleep. So that was one point. So. Lunch was only three points. Um, well, actually four because of the smoothie. The smoothie was delicious. I'm really impressed with how good it was for a greens powder. Um, hoping to drink more greens because I'm not getting my greens in naturally. So I'm about to make some dinner. It's probably going to be bigger than usual because I'm really hungry. <laughs> All right. I just wanted to update you on the things I did not eat. All right, we got some dinner. I've got uh, four points or one cup of sweet peas for four points. Did I say that? Um, two smart points for light sour cream. I'm going to count this as seven points because it's an extra large potato, um, but I have to adjust that in my app, so I'm not sure on the potato. Then I've got four ounces of 96% lean ground beef for two points and then one kombucha for one point. So it's going to be dinner. I don't even know what I did to my hair. Like, yikes. Alright guys, so I'm going to end my vlog here. Um, I'm really full from dinner. I didn't eat all of my peas, so I only counted that as two smart points. And then I drank an extra kombucha, so that's uh, two points for the kombucha. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like I turned this day around. Um, we got some cute stuff at the thrift store. I had fun thrifting with hubby. Had a nice nap. Had a nice hot shower. Got my chi back. Um, so the grumpies have left me. But I'm just going to keep pushing. I'm going to keep going to the gym, keep working out, keep doing the things that I know my body needs. And then hopefully Mr. Scale will realize my dedication and reward me next week. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing weekend. And I will see you guys tomorrow. I have a review and taste test video of the Smart Cakes. Uh, one Smart Point gluten-free cakes for you guys tomorrow. So I'll have that live. And uh, yeah, and we'll see you on Monday for Muffin Chat.